Yeah, KCAL 9's Lori Perez, she is live on the scene in Riverside. Lori, what can you tell us? Well, Chris and Rachel, the good news is, of course, no one was hurt in this, but the damage to the church does appear to be quite extensive. If I step aside, you can see there's still a pretty big response here, and they are focused on the main sanctuary of the church. Crews first got the call at 716 tonight. When they arrived, they say there was heavy smoke coming from this main building. Sky 9 was overhead as firefighters made their attack from both the back and the roof of the church. The public information officer tells us the challenge with churches is often the steep pitch of the roof. That can make it more difficult to get access. In this case, they were able to contain the fire to the sanctuary. It did not affect other buildings on the grounds, including the much older original church building that was built in the 1800s. At this early stage, firefighters say it appears the fire started in the back of the sanctuary near the stage area. Of course, as you mentioned, there was to be a Christmas Eve worship service here tomorrow. That will have to be moved to another location. We did speak with a church elder tonight who rushed here from a holiday party. He was trying to keep things in perspective. I'm in total shock. Uh, you don't expect something like this to happen at your church. I've been here about 30 years, and um, it's almost a surreal experience. It's Christmas, and um, we all have our families that we can go home to. Everybody is safe. There wasn't anybody hurt. Uh, so we're very, very thankful for that. Now, he says they will probably be able to host the worship service in the older original building. A church down the street has also offered its sanctuary in case they want to host it there. We are live in Riverside tonight. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.